The cross is empty and so is the tomb. Jesus is risen and we are set free. Alleluia. What a saviour. day for remembering that nothing is beyond the power of God. He was willing to give his all to show his forgiveness to, of us, to demonstrate the power of limitless and conditionless love, and then to defeat that which threatens to defeat us all, the power of death. For the first Easter morning began with the women seeking to serve their Lord in death as in life by anointing his body. But there was no body there. It was gone. But not just any kind of gone. Risen. Alive. But not as we know it. Let's not linger in the garden this Easter evening, nor wander down the road to Emmaus as Christ's followers have so often travelled this night. Let us instead make the journey back to Calvary once more, to that hill where the death of our Lord was wrought. So often in our minds there is an empty cross standing there in the aftermath of Easter. But there isn't. The hill is there. 
but no sign of what was perpetrated only three days previously, when three crosses were raised, the gibbets on which hung two criminals and the saviour of the world. They are gone, removed by the soldiers who raised them to the sky. The evidence of the deed has disappeared and to so many it has become an event which happened and is past and life has moved on. For the followers of Christ, the emptiness of that hill is a reminder that even when Easter is past, when life returns to normal or what passes for normal, Still the power of a disappeared cross reigns. Even when all evidence of Christ seems torn down and thrown away, his risen spirit is with us still. The cross couldn't conquer him, neither could death, neither can all that threatens the peace and the security of this world. Around the world this day, and over the weeks to come, in the Russian and the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, among so many others. The cry reverberates and will continue to do so. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. Risen, reigning Christ, you have conquered death and overcome the power of sin in the world. These are truths. May we claim them, own them, and understand their significance this night. And may the blessing of God, our risen Saviour, be with you tonight and always. Amen. Amen.